guys, welcome to Game and Tower. This is Das here. So almost out of nowhere, a game called Escape from Tarkov is being talked about on internet like crazy. So today, Game and Tower would like to tell you everything you need to know about Escape from Tarkov. So obviously, the first thing to tell you about Escape from Tarkov is that it's a MMO first-person shooter. The game takes place in the fictional city called Tarkov. The city itself apparently exists somewhere in Russia. But it is not a Russian city, quote unquote, but rather some type of settlement for conflict is going on between Russian military and United Nations. As with a lot of survival game, you will be battling everything about military force to apparently handle environment. Illness is a part of the mechanics and radiation poisoning counts as an illness. Well, they haven't explicitly said anything. It sounds kind of like there might be kind of nuclear situation going on there. Whether there is a full on nuclear war going on, I don't know. But something is certainly poisoning the landscape, radiation poisoning to be mechanic. There are people that are saying there is lot in common with the division. It may be superficial or it could be more as well. It's a little bit early for that but there are very obvious similarities. Certainly in concept they both sound like a very similar game to me except for the obvious difference would be the first person shooter versus the third person shooter which is what the division is. And just to preface all the information I may at time refer to the division but this video is not direct comparison between the division and the except for Tarkov. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say the very first thing I know that this looks like a typical game. It's actually being developed by a fairly small studio in St. Petersburg, Russia by the name of Battle State Games. One of the devs work on Talkart as you remember was a very awesome game and the studio itself is previously responsible for the game called Contact Wars which this game apparently shares a world with not that they will ever intersect. If this game are coming out of EA probably would be the impressive thing but for a game that is in AAA look AAA with this kind of attention to details it's pretty extraordinary actually. The environments, the guns, the animations it's all very impressive and I'll go into animations in a second since I brought up EA and that makes me sad. In some way I figure I encounter the act by saying before you go forward with any more features there are no my microtransaction in this game. You buy the game, you buy the DLC. Those are the things you pay for content. Wanted to say that fairly early in this video because there is a very large amount of stuff to talk about. Frankly the sad state of how business is done in video games is not really I wanna dwell on. Now to bring up the division again, the division is labeled as more of a casual experience that anyone can pick up and enjoy and that's not a problem. That's actually a good thing. It's cool that people are being introduced to the open world and survival genre but except for Tarkov isn't that. Tarkov is level as a hardcore game and that doesn't mean it's easier to die in. Some people argue that makes this much more of a survival game and the division and without having permadeath. It's kind of an encouraging and expendable viewpoint. In Escape from Tarkov, you won't just love your characters and that's not a problem because when they die, while you lose all your shit and speaking of that, it looks as though the inventory is based on having various containers with you whether it would be pockets or pouch or backpack or other things. In theory, it means it could be expand what you can carry by finding more containers. But again, you only live once. So if you find more containers and fill them up with whole bunch of stuff, just hand it over to real nice inventory or your enemy. So you probably wanna be strategic with that kind of thing. I'm making the assumption that you probably leave containers in various locations if you want to because again, this is a very hardcore game. But the developers talked about realism quite a bit. It seems like that kind of element of the strategy that's something you definitely wanna engage in. My fingers are crossed because the possibilities in this game are actually pretty expensive. The combat itself is quite fluid with a very realistic gun mechanics. In fact, in order to talk about how fluid, we need to talk about the animation systems. Animation in this game is combination of procedural animation with a actual keyframed animation. This allows them to do a lot of complicated movement in characters, environments and guns themselves. That's also contribute the actual mechanics of the game, particularly the gun mechanics. Now, something that is pretty impressive to people who want to play this game is that lot of actions are done to the gun is multiple animations. For instance, reloading, they are not only single reloading animations, depending on how much experience your character has, he may simply throw the magazine, he may switch it out and save the magazine. And that's just the magazine alone. That looks varied, shooting has looks varied, jamming the gun has to look varied, switching the gun has to look varied. Frankly, there are a lot of animation in this game. And it's all seamlessly integrated itself into this game. The character and clothing systems are also very impressive. The studio posts videos in YouTube channel that go into pretty intensive details for a smaller studio without access to hundreds of millions of dollars. This stuff is really, really impressive, I have to say. It's not just stuff you see up close, it's varied. It's also all of the background. And once again, because this studio is not a AAA studio, graphics like this were pretty impressive. There's going to be clan system, pretty deep open customization and a crafting element. However, not a traditional sense, you could find wood and metal and make a gun, you actually have to find elements to make a gun. So it's not a full blown Minecraft, so to speak. Which is good, you shouldn't really be able to make high end advanced rifle out of anything, other than advanced rifle parts. And that makes sense, 
So that's exactly sets the game apart. Why you gonna play escape from Tarkov over division and why you gonna play over DayZ, H1Z1 or whatever. There is over 5000 of these games that are out and frankly some people consider overplaying genre. Would you be really think about something that hasn't come out that just a bit of junk other than genre? As fun as all those games are, they are all pretty last gen. While the division is an impressive game, it's not really the same type of game. It's kind of being hailed as a survival game, but it's not a survival game in a sense that many people on the PC play survival games. If you ask me, this game kind of looks like what they are trying to do is that be the next gen. And really, all of the survival games are kind of not developed by AAA, because AAA often wants to appeal to the biggest audience possible. Therefore, they often don't really consider modes like permadeath because it can be often by alienated by casual audience. If the game is really the survival game, it is by definition not for casual players. And Escape from Tarkov is really does not look like that it's going to be a casual favorite, so to speak. Pretty much everything about the game bleeds hardcore. Well, I can say whether the gameplay is good or not. It looks pretty solid though. All of the things that developers talked about their developer's diary is about how cool the gameplay is. If you're going up the footage that being shown seems to be pretty true. Now is a beta coming out. When that comes out, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to give you a better impression whether it will be actually worth it or not. But as if right now, it's probably most promising in development survival game outside of AAA studio systems. But keep in mind, we are saying without having played the game. So I would say hype train hasn't become a runaway train just yet. However, there is something to it optimistic about and we will be following escape from Tarkov from here. Is Tarkov or even just open world survival genre interesting to you in general? Let's have a discussion about it in the comment section down below. Also, if you find this video informative or entertaining, please do us a quick big favor, click the like button down below. If you are not subscribed to Commenter, now is a great time to do so because we put out videos every single day of the week. And the best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. We see you guys next time right here on Commenter.